It seems like all of the southern prisons in the United States are at crisis level. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, share the video if you can. And without further ado, let's get into it. So, guys, like I said in the intro there, um, it just seems like the southern United States is having a crisis in our prison systems. Everyone that you look at, all of the ones I've covered on my channel from Mississippi. Uh, before I go any further, like I say in all my videos, the reason I keep looking off this way is because I have my computer screen over here brought up with all the information. I've got these tabs up. So if you see me keep looking over there, that's why. So anyway, got all these prisons, man. Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, South Carolina. And I'm sure Louisiana is probably off the chain right now. Tennessee and some other southern prisons. But these are just the ones that's been on my radar lately. And man, all you got to do is do a quick Google search. And it becomes extremely disturbing. So right now I have Alabama pulled up, Georgia, Mississippi. South Carolina, and when you click on the news tab, so you, Alabama right here, you click on it, the first thing you see is keeping Alabama's prisons in darkness. Uh, officials keep looking for ways to increase the brutality of Alabama prisons and ensure Alabamians cannot see what's happening. Fighting, this is a different article, fighting assaults on staff in Alabama prisons increase in the latest report. Uh, third article, uh, an inside look at violence and conditions at Donaldson Correctional Facility. I clicked on that one yesterday. And lo and behold, it brings up an article and it says that there have been, where is it? I think it's like 17 deaths there this year, just at this one prison. Uh, I don't know how many in the whole entire state, but it's a lot. And then there's a video here of two men, uh poking each other if you get what i'm saying so if you want to check that out you can i'm not going to put it in here because then they'll probably take my video down but like i said you just google alabama prisons and it's like the third article down by cbs 42 um a death row inmate wrestled with you that one is nothing but alabama prisons let out old sick and dying inmates denied parole uh correction officer charged with smuggling meth so <clears throat> oh, yeah, here we go. Ventress Prison. That was another one that caught my eye. Another man killed at Ventress Prison. This is the one that I had brought up. Okay. So this is a medium security facility. It's not even uh, max. So since 2019, there's been 12 homicides at Ventress, an average homicide rate of 173 per 100,000. That is more than 14 times the most recently reported national annual homicide rate for state prisons, which was 12 per 100,000. Uh, most of the homicides at Ventures have taken place in prison dorms filled up with up to 200 men. So that's what you call an open bay dorm where everybody's just on bunks right next to each other in a big warehouse style building. Out of the 12 homicides, uh, the Alabama Department of Corrections had not announced anyone receiving criminal accountability for these deaths. And it just goes on and talks about it. Um, there's been lawsuits filed, family members trying to get justice, obviously. Uh... Alabama prisons called one of the largest illegal drug rings in the country by inmate families. So it's just, it paints a picture here, just like the rest of these. Obviously, I've been covering Georgia. If you follow my channel, same thing. I click over here to the Georgia and hit news on the Google tab. Georgia prison homicides, a list of those killed in Georgia's prison systems. And it's even worse. Georgia is the worst system in the country right now. So, Georgia has seen 38 homicides in 2023. That topped the previous record of 31 the year before. And now, in 2024, there's been 44 homicides. So, the year's not even over. Um, and it's the same story. Article after article. Conditions at Georgia prisons violate the Constitution. There's been Department of Justice investigations. Nothing is happening. Georgia prisons horrific and unsafe with homicides rampant, Justice Department says. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not saying that this is the whole picture because I'm sure that it's not. A lot of it has to do with the gangs becoming big in these southern prisons in the last decade, 15, 20 years. And then a lot of it has to do with uh, the money that can be made. 
and the gangs want to control the money. So officers are on the take because they're outnumbered. Nobody wants to work in there and risk their, their life and their safety. So the numbers of officers are down. Inmates are running everything. So that's the large part of it. But also something that all these prisons have in common is that none of them have air conditioning. You just have to be hot in the summer. And this is the deep south. Can you imagine being inside a dorm with 200 other guys and all you got is fans pushing around hot air? That's going to have you pissed off all day long with a bad attitude. Now, like I said, obviously, that's a small thing compared to all the other stuff. But man, it's just to me, that's wild to have somebody locked up like that. And in the two man cell, it's even bad. It's only you and one other guy, but you're in a six by nine or a nine by 11 cell. You can't escape it. Family shares story of prison beating amid DOG probe, DOJ, sorry, probe into Georgia prisons. Shock and horror. DOJ finds Georgia prison conditions out of control and unconstitutional. Georgia is deliberately indifferent to unchecked prison abuses. And like I said, you, I don't know if you still can, I haven't looked in a while, but you used to could go on YouTube and type in Georgia prisons and you would see some wild videos. Guys walking around with lawnmower blade style weapons that big, big, huge knives, people getting stabbed. The Ware Prison Riot, where they took the guard hostage, that was posted on YouTube. So moving on to Mississippi, which was a few years ago, if you follow my channel. Mississippi, South Carolina is the one who initially kicked all this off. I'd say, what, four or five years ago when I first started my channel, South Carolina had that riot at Lee County where seven people were killed. And the guys had cell phones, so they was able to record the bodies and everything that had happened and they got these videos out to the public my one of my videos was one of them and it stayed up for a couple of years but then youtube eventually took it down because obviously it was showing unalived bodies well south carolina it was just it was thrust into the spotlight and nobody could believe what they were seeing um just the amount of violence and the videos that was coming out of there was unreal I forgot to turn that light on for the whole video. I don't know if it looks better or worse, but anyway, we're going to ride with it. So South Carolina was one of the first ones that was just showing these prisons down in the South were getting really off the chain and really out of hand. Um, and then from there, it went to Mississippi. And then from Mississippi, you heard Alabama and then Alabama to Georgia. And now it's just it seems like all these prisons in the South are horrible. I'm on the Mississippi tab now. And we have inmates battle heat, mold, and mice inside Mississippi's largest prison. As heat rises, inmates and staff swelter in the Mississippi prisons. This is what I was talking about with the air conditioning. In one of the prisons I was in in Georgia was called D. Ray James, which is a federal facility. Now, this was down on the Florida state line, the very bottom of Georgia. And we didn't have no air conditioning. You want to talk about dying up in there? All they sell you is like a little 12-inch fan. God. It was horrible. Um, Justice Department finds problems with violence, gangs, and poor conditions in three Mississippi prisons. Mississippi gang members, excuse me, plan to use drones to deliver drugs. So it's all, it's a repeated story throughout this, everything. It's heat, gangs, lack of staff, drugs, contraband. And it, it tells the whole entire story. And so finally, we click over to South Carolina again. It's been some years since South Carolina was like truly off the chain like they were. But still, South Carolina prison guards, this was in July, inmates charged with sneaking drugs, phones into prisons. This was after McMaster and all them supposedly straightened everything. They had Lee County on lockdown for years, I believe. And they brought in all these people. They did these programs and everything. And it was supposedly... They were going to put cell phone jammers up and all this stuff. And, and you see what's going on. Um, more South Carolina. Adding technology to disable cell phones. There's that. Inmate killed in South Carolina prison. His death is believed to be a homicide. Cracking down on South Carolina prisons. I mean, it. it's like you copied and pasted all the same stuff to every single one of them. So like I was saying, this is just epic levels of violence that is happening in these southern prisons and it's it's all through here man if you end up getting locked up arrested and you go to these prisons and you're not a part of one of these gangs you run a very high risk of being assaulted in more than one way there's you know sexual assaults that are happening in there physical assaults 
uh, stabbings, the whole nine yards. It's just crazy. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of extortion going on for the weaker guys who are not going to stand up for themselves. They're probably getting extorted, having to call home, having their family send money, or the gang is going to kill them. It's just it's a bad place to be, man. You don't want to go to prison in the South right now. But they keep saying that these Department of Justice investigations are happening, but Georgia has been investigated for over a year and nothing has changed. Apparently, South Carolina hasn't changed. It's been five, six years since all that stuff happened. Mississippi, three, four years ago. Alabama, three, four years ago. And they're all doing the same things. So, anyway, hit me up in the comments, man. If you know anybody in these places or you've got any inside information or you know anything more than what I do and what I'm getting here off of Google, let me know. And um, I'll keep track of this stuff and keep trying to cover it. Um, like I said before, man, I'm back. Content's going to keep on coming. So I will holler at you guys next time.